are you in a relationship why do people really want to know that you are in a relationship okay before you watch this video know that i look very weird on the camera that is just fine okay so just enjoy this video so when i got to 10,000 subscribers i asked you guys to ask me questions and i'm going to answer them and this is the version 2.0 of the q a on this particular channel the first one was when i got to 1,000 subscribers and now 10,000 subscribers but then i want to thank you first for getting me to 10,000 subscribers i really appreciate all the support and the love that it's shown so far so i have a couple of questions on the phone over here i'm going to read us i think i have about 20 30 questions i'm going to read them out and i'm going to answer all of them so i'm going to start from the questions from the community post on my youtube channel and the first one is coming from Khan. he asks what should be the resolution of the banner if you are making the banner for website social media in photoshop 72 pixels per inch or 300 pixels but basically it all depends on the quality and the size that you want or let's say the storage that you have on your machine if you have a higher storage that is fine understand that the resolution of a particular image comes with the, the storage so if you have a higher storage that is fine you can increase the resolution but then in as much as you are thinking of your resolution you have to think of the quality also if you are posting on social media social media says instagram takes four by four or eight by eight inches so you can basically make the resolution around 300 400 to get the quality but then if you are working on a banner that is way bigger also you can just decrease the resolution to around 200 250 or better still you maintain the default 300 and i think that is going to be just fine so question number two is coming from prince amor my question is in two folds the first is how am i going to make the review test and the second one is how do i make good use of the tool? okay so you can make 3d test in photoshop okay using the 3d tab which is very simple and then you can use external softwares as blender and cinema 4d any one of them which my favorite is going to be cinema 4d so you can just try either of this one and if you make a 2d flat logo as well you can use mockups to convert it into 3d logos so i think that is going to be very fine for you and to make a good use of the pen tool you have to consistently use it practice makes progress okay? so you have to continue making use of the pen tool if you want to be better with it ericsson pivot what paper size would you recommend for label design for plastic bottles like the bts bottle i don't really know whether you're talking of a lomo bts or well but then the best way is since the bottles are not almost always the same you just have to take a measurement of the bottle before you start with your design with that it is going to help you get the exact size for that particular bottle because not all the bottles are the same can i become a good graphic designer by watching tutorials online yes you can i did the same thing i watched youtube videos and then i am here today so of course you can become a good graphics designer please i'd like to know the procedures of uploading and making game on youtube and secondly do you have a platform most especially whatsapp group for designers to connect and if yes please how can i join well the process is very simple you learn one thing or you have a passion for one thing take a camera record yourself upload it on youtube get 1000 subscribers 4000 watch hours and then boom you can start making money from youtube but then even with that you can as well use affiliate marketing and sponsorship deal so you can get or you can gain from youtube even without getting that 1000 or 4000 watch hours and yes i have a whatsapp platform for designers if you want to join i will leave a link in the description with a group link so that you can just join or just follow this number to join the next question is from princess adiola how do i get my inspiration up and running for the concept of my design and is there any rule that's governing the color to use and then the layout of a particular design well three in one question let me tackle them how do i get my inspiration to get the best of your inspiration i believe you have to love what you do 
and that is going to be the best of the inspiration that you can. If you don't love what you do, anything that you're going to do is going to turn out to be penalty, okay? So you have to love what you do. And then you can get inspiration from Pinterest and um, Behance, Fiverr, all the freelance websites can get inspiration. And Instagram, of course. And the second one is, is there any rule that there is no rule that governs the color that you're supposed to use? Only that it has to be complementary. The colors that you're going to use has to be complementary. For instance, I'm in yellow right now. My background is green. It works. So you have to know these colors. And sometimes the best way is to go for the logo that the client gives to you. And the layout, there is no special rule for layouts. Okay? But then it depends on all that you are doing or all the design that you want to work out on. You can't choose, say, a, an A4 sheet for a banner design. It doesn't work out. So you have to know that kind of layout as well. OJ Bobby Johnson, have you started earning something from YouTube? Basically, I don't know there's something that you are talking about here. But then, yeah, I've started earning something. I've started earning respect, uh, money, friends. A lot of things so i've started any something from youtube martin zulu document sizes and resolution how do you know which one to choose um document sizes it depends on what you want to design like i explained earlier you can't choose an a4 for a banner and then you can't use like five by three feet for an a4 one so it depends on what you are designing but then when it comes to resolution there are two things that you have to consider the quality and then your storage. If you want a higher quality, of course, you have to set a higher resolution, which in turn is going to give you a higher storage. So I think it all depends on the kind of storage or the amount of storage that you have and then the kind of quality that you want to get as well. In this upon, apart from YouTube, do you have any website where I can get your tutorials? The website is still under construction, but hopefully by the end of um this year it should be up and running so aside youtube i don't post my videos anywhere sometimes on Facebook. next question is from my boss crispa studio a big shout out to my boss crispa studio do you earn from fiverr yes boss please i earn from fiverr it isn't that much but then it is quite able to settle some bills emmanuel jan how can i screen record like you do with all those effects the software that I use for screen recording is Active Presenter. I'll leave a link if you want to download it. And then I use Wondershare Filmora to edit and put some kind of effect. So if you want that one too, I'll leave a link so that you can download that one as well. What to do so as to be a good graphics designer? Consistent practicing. You know, there is this saying that practice makes progress. The more you practice, the more you become good at what you do. Michael, me talk. How do you make 3D logos? You can make 3D logos in Photoshop using the 3D button over there, and then you can use Blender and external software as well. Jedija, Japan. I would really appreciate if you could help us with Church Flyer for online service, as this has become very important in these times. Trust me, I'm putting together a couple of templates which I'm going to make tutorials on them and leave a link to download a free template very soon. Expect that video. The last question from the community post is from Asante Oracle. How can I become a YouTuber? It is very simple. Get a particular topic to talk about. Get a camera or a screen recorder. Start recording and then post it on YouTube. So those are the questions that I got from my YouTube community post. I'm heading back to my Samsung notes for I got some questions outside of YouTube and I'm going to read those ones as well. So the next question is from myself's corner. I don't know whether I got the name correct. And she's asking, what's the most important equipment to acquire as a new YouTuber for quality videos aside your phone and then your camera? Well, two things, lighting and then audio. So if you want to invest in your video making, I think you have to get a better lighting. If you don't want to use a natural light like I'm doing, you have to invest in lighting and then audio as well. So you can get like external microphone that you can connect to your phone. And I think that is going to work very fine for you. Akosia Punaman wants to know what are some of the challenges you face before you bring out such educative videos 
and how do you manage your studies with YouTube? One of the difficulties that I face a lot is getting the right atmosphere. You know, I live in a compound house and when I go to the hostel, I share the room with another roommate. So sometimes you want to record a video, you'd have to see to win that the person is not around or if the person is around, you have to respect their kind of presence or something. So sometimes I have to wait till around 12 a.m. to record a particular video. And then when I come home as well, my brother's family are around. So you have to wait till all of them are asleep before you're going to get like a quality sound. So those are kind of some of the problems that I face. And the next question is managing my studies with YouTube. It is not that very easy, but then I think with time management and a couple of things, it becomes quite easy for you if you have your priorities set right. So that is how I basically do that. When it's time for studies, it's time for studies, lectures, fine. And when it's time for YouTube videos, I just kick it off and I'll go my way. This question is from Kimura Smith Mensa. What inspires you the most? When are you planning to get to 20K? Your greatest challenge ever wanted to quit? Number one motivator, a person. Please, why do you ask so many questions like this? Okay, what inspires me the most? My passion and love for what I do. That inspires me the most. Sometimes I get inspired by the love I have for what I do. And that inspires me a lot. When and how am I planning to get to 20K? In five months time and then I'm going to do that by consistently uploading and with your support I know in five months we have to get to 20k what do you think let me know your thoughts in the comment section my greatest challenge as of now is getting the right environment because this whole video thing requires a lot of privacy like getting the right serene environment so that is the, the challenge that I'm facing now and ever wanted to quit no never it's been almost three years now since I started it. I've never, it has never occurred to me that I should quit or something like that. The number one motivator is myself because I love myself. I love what I do. And whenever I post something on either of the social medias, I'm the first person to like it. So that should tell you how I motivate myself. The next question is what software do you use for video editing and gadgets for recording? For the software I use, um, Wondershare Fimura for editing. And for the gadgets, I use my Lenovo laptop and then um, the condenser microphone. I don't even know the name. I just bought it. I started using it not long ago. So those are the things that I use for recording my videos. The next question is, what are some of the challenges you encountered whilst using Photoshop? The fact that I had to pirate Photoshop for some time makes it quite challenging. You know, I've, I've tried purchasing it but they say they keep telling me it's not available in my rating but very soon i'm going to end the fact that photoshop has a couple of niches that you can play around with makes it sometimes very difficult to choose a particular way to go cartoons flyers this and that it becomes challenging Charlie. this particular question is quite weird have you dated before or are you dating and how old were you when you thought you were in love well, I've dated before, but whether I'm dating now or not, it is quite complicated. I don't even know myself. And how old was I when I thought I was in love? 15 years. That question came from Nancy. She has a channel. You can check her channel out. Aside your passion for work, what other thing motivated you? And how do you manage your time effort? Uncle Dan. Um, the fact that people have done it and they are succeeding and they are still doing it, motivates me a lot and it's motivated me before i started the channel a lot of people had already done so many of the things that i'm doing now so it motivated me to start that the fact that they've done it and succeeded i can also do it and succeed and i don't have a very specific way of managing my time efforts like the efforts that i put into these videos and stuff but then sometimes i just time myself i work two hours go for the test come and continue on and you realize that at the end of everything, it will be around five to six hours. So that is how I manage my time efforts. The next question is from Pukwa and Tima. They have a YouTube channel as well. You can check that one out. Are you in a relationship? Why do people really want to know that you are in a relationship? But that is fine. Um, what is your greatest achievement? 
like I said, it is complicated and I don't know whether I'm in a relationship. But if you are interested, I'll open nominations very soon so that I can send your proposals, okay? And my greatest achievement so far is opening or starting this channel to be able to build it to 10,000 subscribers, reaching close to a million reach every single month and then at about 70,000 per every single month views. That is great. That is so far the greatest achievement that I've made and the impact that I've impacted in people's life. It is, it is so much of an achievement that I've made. The last but one question is, how long does it take to make and edit a video and any defining moment in your YouTube career? Asked by Kwame Captain. Okay, so uh, I don't really know the exact time. It's averagely, it is five to six hours per video from scripting, doing everything, editing, and then recording, post-production, everything. An average of five to six hours should be fine for you. So if you are thinking of starting something like this, consider these times as well. And then any defining moment in your YouTube career. When I got to 10,000 subscribers, actually I wasn't thinking of getting 10,000 subscribers any moment like now. So it was just like a redefining moment in my YouTube career. The last question is from um, why is the girl, I don't know if I got that name correct, but the question is, what inspired you to do YouTube and it's money. I explained that in the 10,000 subscribers video where I was saying that it was money that influenced the start of this channel. But then along the line, it's all changed and then I saw it from a different perspective. So money influenced my starting YouTube. Well, so those are the questions that I got from YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, and all the places you can think of and I put them all together to answer them. And I think to the best of my knowledge, I've answered each and every question that you posted. If I skipped your question or I didn't answer your question rightly, you can leave a comment in the comment section and then I'm going to answer that one as well. Again, I want to say thank you so much for the 10,000 subscribers. And like I said, in five months, you want to get to 20,000 subscribers. And I can't do that without your support. So just like you've been supporting me, continue supporting me and let's get to 20,000 subscribers in five months. Thank you so much for sticking around to watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll come back with another tutorial pretty soon. I'll see you guys in the next one. It's Innocent here and bye!